On set, we have Roni Fortis, Hilton Director for Israel. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. Tell us about the flow of tourists this year. This year is, a, is showing a reduction in number of tourists to Israel. It's uh, contributed to many factors. One is the economical situation in Europe. Europe is a major market. One is the political situation in Israel post Gaza operation in the summer and probably some political issues worldwide. Uh, altogether, we are down and altogether, we're not going up. In the past so many years, give and take 10 years, we are very stagnant on these numbers. Well, you mentioned a drop in Europe. Where are you seeing the most growth? From which countries do you see the There's most growth? There's no coming? really growth. Uh, if you take Europe, uh, the Russian market has almost disappeared uh, following the crisis there. The French market, the British market are probably down because of the exchange rate. We're not a cheap country because of the economical stress in these countries. Uh, if you take the US, a bit more than five years ago, but not better than last year. That's again post uh, last year's uh, crisis, war, and probably political situation versus the world, Israel, what's happening in this country. So is this unique to what you're used to seeing post-war? because of the situation we're seeing yes, globally? Yes, yes. You always see after a war cycle, it normally takes give and take two years to be fully loaded, fully back to normal. Uh, we are not yet two years. And we have a lot of distractions beside post-war, which doesn't end up either. Well, in September, it marks 50 years since Hilton has entered the Israeli market here. How would you describe the Hilton experience in Israel? How does it compare to other areas of the world? Well, the Hilton Tel Aviv is, is Hilton, but is much more than a typical Hilton worldwide. It became an institute, it became a landmark, not only in Israel, but worldwide. Uh, 50 years have passed, but the hotel has been renovated and changed its faces altogether a couple of times. We're leading the market all these years, and it is a major hotel in the Hilton scene worldwide and definitely in Europe, which is quite significant for a small country. Well, as you mentioned, Tel Aviv is a very dense market, especially when it comes to anything, really, because it is such a small country and there are, uh, there, there's not a lot of space here. So how do you uh, stay above the competition? Well, we have the owners and a company that are willing to invest a lot of money. The amount of investment that we put in this hotel over the years is unparalleled to any other similar product internationally and locally. Uh, we just finished a big project of about $50 million of redoing all the rooms. We're entering now a new project of redoing all our public facilities for about $30 to $40 million. So we are spending a lot of money. We are positioning the hotel differently than what is the market status. Uh, competition is coming up. We're trying to be ahead with these actions that we are taking. Well, thank you so much for coming on the program and offering this insight. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.